Hey everyone, so nice to see you guys tonight. I'm very excited to be hosting this Zoom for you. Uh, this is our follow-up Zoom. And we always say the fortune is in the follow-up and I'm telling you it is the God honest truth. Um, the difference between where you are right now and hitting the goals that you want has to do with two things. Reaching out to new people, whether that is in person or by message, and a super duper follow-up. And I say super duper, because I am Canadian and as Canadians, we are always very polite. If you are American and watching this, you probably make fun of us because we always say sorry. We're always worried that we're gonna be bothering people. We're worried that we're annoying people or um, you know, being an inconvenience. We're always worried about those things. But I learned something that absolutely changed my business a couple of years ago when I was in Spain um, at the leadership retreat. And there was a guy, a presidential, um, and he was talking, Fabian, and he was talking about, um, sorry, I'm just going to get you guys to meet yourself if you haven't already. Um, and he was talking about, sorry guys. Let me make sure that this is muted. Okay. So he was talking about um, how they do it over in Europe and they just, they continually ask people, they get people on the phone, they just ask and ask and ask and ask. And he said, this will change your business. When somebody says no, or I'm not interested, the first sentence, I want you to get some courage. I want you to put your big girl panties on. I want you to grow a pair, whatever you got to do. The first thing when somebody says no, or I'm not interested, your response should be, I'm just curious, what's stopping you? That one sentence will make you a lot of money. I'll tell you why. Because a lot of the times people will say, well, I don't know if I could do live videos. I don't know if I could be as an outgoing as you. I don't think I could do what you do. Or I just don't have the money right now. Um, and, and that could be with products or with the business. I, you know, maybe I can't afford it or whatever it is. But when somebody says no, I love hearing no, okay? I message every day to hear at least 15 no's. I want to get 15 no's before I go to bed at night. And I say to every single one of those no's, what is stopping you? How come? Why not? Why not you? And it makes them think, and it may or may not be for them. If they say, I really hate social media and I really don't like talking to people, this business isn't for you. You shouldn't be in this business. But it could be something that you can overcome that objective and as soon as you figure out what it is, then you can move forward with them and you can keep following up. So I'm gonna give you a schedule to how I follow up. So I am not the most organized person. I do not have Excel spreadsheets. I am not that person. I am not a green. But what I do have is a notebook full of names. So I just have like a regular notebook that's full of names and every single day I put a date on that in that notebook. And my goal every single day is to have five to 10 new people in my notebook on my hundreds list. I've been doing this for now two and a half years. I probably have over 800 people on a list. So when promotions like this come out, like they did today with the Fit15 for free, my life gets real busy because I am going to touch base with every single one of those people because I am not going to let somebody slip through my fingers. I'm not going to let somebody sign up with somebody else because I didn't follow up and I didn't ask. So here's the schedule that I use. I write down the date. I add my five to 10 new people. And the way that I do that is by sending messages. I reach out to new people and I keep reaching out. You know what? I, I don't necessarily have, um, you know, I, I send 10 messages a day. I send 50 messages a day. I send, I send 100 messages a day. I send messages until I add five to 10 new people. I usually don't send any less than 50 new messages, but you have to be reaching out to new people to be growing your hundreds list. So then once I have a date, this is what my follow up is. So write this down. Two days, two days, one week, two weeks, and then monthly until they die. Until they die or until they block me. Sometimes, because my life gets really busy out of 800 people that I have to follow up with, I don't get to them every month, you guys. I really don't. I try to. Sometimes I'm following up with people every two to six months. 
the people that have been on my list for two years, they don't want to hear from me every month now, but they're going to hear from me every two to six months. And I'm going to check in with them, especially when there are promotions like this. You guys, our company is absolutely incredible. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. My mom jokes that I started when I was five and I like sold everything. Um, but the reason that I talk to you about this and the reason it's so important is because Following up with people when there are promotions like this that our company puts into play, I've never been so set up for success. I have never had a company that I've worked for or had these brilliant ideas that I've had for my own business <laughs> before that set me up for success. And whenever we have a promotion that comes out for products or we have a promotion that comes out for business builder kits, you must utilize them to explode your business. They are giving you a cheat sheet to explode your business. And if you don't send follow-up messages and utilize the time that we have and the small amount of time that we have, and yes, you might have to hustle for a week, then you are doing a total disservice to your business because you know what? If you're not touching base with all the people that you should follow up with for potential distributors right now, there will be somebody there that will need this business. There will be somebody there that an extra $300 worth of product will tip them over the scale. I'm going to tell you for two years, I said no to this business. I rolled my eyes. I said, that's ridiculous. Skinny wraps. I go to the gym and I eat well. This is so dumb. And then I found out what skinny wraps actually do. And sure as you know what, I needed those after I had a baby. I needed those to tone tighten and firm my tummy. So I was interested. I was interested again, different chapters in my life had changed. And guess what else? I was on maternity leave and as self-employed, I didn't get make maternity leave. So I needed extra money. I needed extra money to pay for the products. But I also was throwing around the idea of like, hey, maybe I wouldn't have to go back to work full time in the salon and be able to be at home with my baby. That only happened after two years of people asking me and then the right person asking me. And I wanna explain the right person asking is somebody that has been consistent over and over and over and over again and has shown some success, okay? It doesn't need to be huge success. You don't need to be a presidential diamond. You don't need to be ambassador diamond. You don't need to be any of those things but they have to have a positive outlook. They have to be positive on social media and they have to be touching base with me so that I remember them. And Marina Winkler is my upline and I remember her commenting on my wedding photos. I remember her commenting on things so that she was always kind of in the back of my mind, like that creepy little person. I don't mean that about Marina, but I just mean that like little person that you just can't quite forget. She was always there lovingly stalking me. She was there. And that's what, made me realize that the big players in this in this business are people that will say no to you multiple times multiple 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 times they will say no to you and it may be two years or three years into your business you know what the hard part is you guys is that most people if they don't absolutely explode and hit their goals within two years they quit most people, if they don't hit their goals in six months, they quit, but they are quitting before they have found the consistency and attracted somebody to their business that really wants it and is going to go for it. Because I'm going to tell you, I wouldn't just join with some Joe Blow. Like, honestly, I wasn't willing to join and put in the effort for $2,000 a month. I know that that sounds crazy, but I was already a business owner and my business was bringing in hundred grand a year. So I wasn't concerned about that. What I wanted to know is that I could spend less time working because I was in the salon like a crazy person forever. And I wanted to know that I could spend more time with my family and make just as much, if not more money. And I had to see examples of that. Now you guys, I know that I'm talking about follow-ups today, but this all ties in. I'm sorry. <laughs> So bear with me. So having that consistency, sharing other people's stories, it doesn't have to be your story. This is also tying into what I'm going to tell you. Okay. So if you have somebody on your team, somebody in the company that, Hey, my friend, it could be on a completely different team was a nurse. She was so tired of working shift work. She just earned a $5,000 bonus and she now gets to work from her cell phone and be at home with her kids. That is a really great update from somebody within our company, but it doesn't have to be on your team. It doesn't, you know, it can just be somebody that you know about and you're allowed to talk about it because it happened. So using other people for examples. Now using that line, know what's stopping you will help you, um, will help you deal with people's objections. 
but here's what I like. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how I want to say this, but you also don't want to stalk people. Like you have nothing else to do. Okay. It's really important that when you are sending follow-up messages, you come across as very busy because you and I both know that if somebody is messaging you every day, like, Hey, have you thought about this business? What are you doing now? Have you thought about it anymore? Here's another promotion. Do you want it? Are you, are you excited now? It kind of sounds a little bit desperate, but we all have that friend that's like, Oh yeah, I was in Europe last year. And then I went to Australia and then, Oh yeah, I've been working this online thing. And then blah, 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 blah. And they're busy. You don't have to be busy with all that travel, but I'm giving you the example. You want to know what they're doing. If they're busy and they're traveling and they're all over the place and they are just here to have excitement and tell you a little bit about what's going on and then they move on, you start to think, am I missing out? Am I missing out on that little piece? Am I missing out on something huge? You know, if they're having all this fun, if that's something that you're portraying on your Facebook page, your excitement, all that kind of stuff, what am I missing out on? So you've always got to be busy. Now I'm going to send you my favorite follow-up, okay? So let me just get in here because I've I put it somewhere where I can just copy and paste. <clears throat> so my absolute favorite follow-up, and you can dress this up however you like, but keep it simple, okay? Oh, um, sorry, Tiffany, can you just, uh, can, can I repeat the hundreds list that you make? So I just have a book, like a notebook. I have the date and I add anybody that is, um, anybody that I have talked to that day that is interested. So I, oh shoot, hold on. Sorry, just a second, okay? Hey, Rye guy. Sorry, I'm gonna get Ryan to call our neighbor because she's calling for a reason. Sorry, okay. So what I do is I put the date and then anybody, like. I send at least 50 new messages every day. So I add to my hundreds list. Okay. So I would add to my hundreds list. And then the way that I follow up is two days, two days, one week, two weeks, monthly until they die. Um, if that's not the question that you're asking me, oh, do you only add the people that respond to, to you? Yes, to my hundreds list, it is only the people that respond to me. Um, I'm interested or I'd like some more information. Those are the people that I add to my hundreds list. Nobody that, if people don't respond, then I don't, I don't add them to my hundreds list. Okay, so the message that I use, which is my favorite, favorite follow-up, let's make sure that this is going to everybody is this. It is so simple. Hey, I want to apologize. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to follow up. How are you? Now that is a follow up that I will use if I have not talked to this person within a week. Okay. So if I haven't talked to this person within a week, maybe two weeks, that's the follow up I'm going to use. I usually say, Hey, Andrea. So I'd use their name. I want to apologize. I've been so busy. Maybe I've been doing this or this or this. I haven't had a chance to follow up with you. How are you? Notice, I do not say, are you ready to buy my product? Are you ready to join my team? Are you excited about it? I don't say that at all. I say, how are you? Because my goal right now is to turn a non-responding person into somebody that is responding. So this is for somebody that you sent a message, you've sent a follow-up, and then they didn't answer your follow-up. That happens to us all the time, right? The other thing I wanna say is that it's not a big deal if people don't answer back. You guys, this is a game of numbers. It, the more you do, the more answers you get back. Like I said, I go for 15 no's in a day and I add five to 10 people to my hundreds list in a day. So that's, that's, my, that's my core goal. On top of my steps to success, that's what I want. And how do I get there? By following up. So I'm gonna ask, uh, or I'm gonna answer some of these questions after I'm done um, kind of giving you guys an overview, okay? So I'm not ignoring you, just so you know. Um, so that's a very, very simple, simple follow-up. And you don't want people thinking you're just bugging them for because of money or because of product or because, you know, whatever it is. You want them to know that you care about them. Now, number one thing, when you're following up is to put that person first. So as soon as you've got them responding, as soon as they say, yes, I'm good, how are you? You can throw in your follow-up. You can say, hey, I'm really good, I had a great weekend, but you know what, I'm just placing orders for that keto coffee. 
Are you still interested? I've got one spot left for you. If not, please let me know and I will pass it along to the next person in line. Okay? I'm always giving people an out. I'm always giving people an out or asking for the referral. Those are my two other tips. Always give people an out and always ask for a referral. So I'm gonna show you an example of my follow-up message for today, okay? Now this is for people that maybe I haven't talked to in a month, okay? Maybe this is people I haven't talked to in six months. This follow-up is honestly gold for anybody, which I love. Here it is. Let's see, is it there yet? I'm just, it won't copy to me. Hold on just a second. Copy, paste it. Oh, is it there? I think it is there. Okay. I don't know why that says type message. Okay. Hey, Shauna, I have awesome news. So last month we had 12 girls on our team collect $1,000 bonuses. You guys can share that information because you've, you've had 12 people collect $1,000 bonuses within this team. Right now, when you start your business, you get over $500 worth of free product. We're giving you a 15-day results pack so you can kickstart your summer and start your business with your own personal results. How awesome is that? So always be excited. Hey, listen, do you know anyone who would like to make an extra income and start living a healthier lifestyle if we showed them how to do it? I hope you're well. I've got to jump on another call. So what you'll notice is that I'm giving, when I'm following up with people that I haven't spoken to in a month or longer, I'm giving them some sort of update. So this will change. We want to tell a success story here. Hey, Candace, I just want to cruise with It Works, and I was thinking about you. Do you know anyone else that likes to cruise? Uh, they could be in this gig, and they could be doing this with me. Do you know anyone? Even if you're following up with that person to join the business, or hey, Candace, I just want a free trip to Dublin. Um, I, you know, it's better if it's your, you know, maybe you won a thousand or one, you earned a thousand dollar bonus for Ruby, or somebody on your team did, or hey, one of my leadership or a couple of my girls from leadership just went to Dublin for the leadership retreat, and and uh, I, I I have my sights set on going next year. Do you know anybody who likes to travel and would like to make an income from their home? Because we can build an international business. So do you see what I'm doing? I'm giving some sort of update. With this one, I'm giving them an incentive to join. And then I'm, say, I'm taking out the feeling of, hey, are you ready yet? I'm taking that completely out. And I'm saying, hey, do you know anyone that would like this lifestyle? And I'm saying, I will teach you how to do it. You don't have to know how, but I'll teach you how to do it. And then guess what? I'm really busy. I got to go. So I'm not going to sit around and have an hour long conversation with you. I'm going to go because I've got things to do. And when you're busy like that, people start to pay attention and they start sending you messages back and they actually start to um, think about themselves in that role. Like when you ask, Hey, do you know anybody that likes to travel? Well, yeah, I like to travel. Hey, do you know anybody that needs an extra income? Hey, yeah, I could use an extra income. Do you know anybody that actually wants to lose a little bit of weight or like maybe wants to try the keto diet and wants to make some money while they do it? Yeah, I could use a little bit of weight. It's summertime now, right? So people automatically start to think of themselves. You don't have to direct the follow-up at them, okay? Um, remember to, when you are prospecting and you find somebody, find out why they want to be in this business. Find out why. Find out what is the reason that they want to make extra money from home? What is the reason they want to try our products? And then remember that and write it down next to the name. Because when you go back and you follow up with them and you're going to say, hey, Candace, you know, we've got this really great deal going on. You get $500 worth of free product, but I know that you wanted that extra income so you could bring your kids to Disneyland this year. Or I know you wanted this so that you could save up for a house. Are you ready to get started? And when you bring back their why, to why they joined and you're giving them a solution to a problem that they have, they are more likely to listen than me say, hey, I've got one spot left on my team. Do you want it or not? Because I'm just looking out for my own goals when I say that. So what I want to do is absolutely put other people first and make sure that they know that they're first. And the reason that I'm, I'm contacting them is because this opportunity will benefit them and I don't want them to miss out on the massive promo. Um, when you 
are like, here's another way to send follow ups too, and messages is somebody that is commenting or posting or liking on any of your posts on Facebook. If you are not sending a message to every new person that likes or comments on your posts, again, you're doing a disservice to your business. It doesn't matter if you say, who wants to make $500 this month on social media and nobody comments, but there are 16 likes, you need to send a message to the people that have the 16 likes and say, hey, thank you so much for the love on my post. I would love to talk to you about this business if you're interested in making some extra money. It may or may not be for you. See, I'm going to give them an out. It may or may not be for you. But if you know someone that it would be good for, I would really appreciate the referral. So always giving them an in or an out, it may or may not be for you. Um, because then they're more inclined to listen and to not put it off. And they're like, oh, maybe I do know somebody. But guess what? They're going to watch maybe your opportunity video. Maybe um, they're going to watch or they're going to um, go on your Facebook page. And they're going to start thinking, huh, can I do this? And that's going to get the wheels turning for them. So I may or may not, this may or may not be for you, but you might know somebody that this is perfect for. Uh, Oh yeah, and then I want to show you um, a really good example of a cold message. I know that we're doing follow-ups right now, but I think that this is really important too um, because I want you guys to see how I am prospecting people so that it doesn't feel like they have to, um, like they have to answer, it has to be about them. But Hey, Amy, I came across your profile today. Uh, we don't know each other at all, but this may seem a little strange, but it looks like you're positive, outgoing, uh, fun, athletic, whatever compliment you want to give them. And I love working with people like that, or I love working with other moms, or I love working with other people who uh, have the same passions as me. Um, and so complimenting people uh, while you're doing an initial message and then continuing that through your follow-up. Um, and then I'm just curious. So this is really important how I'm saying this. I'm just curious, would you at all be open to a side project if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing? If yes, cool. If not, no big deal, okay? So it's a way that I'm putting my opportunity across that they don't feel pressured. So now when I go back to follow up with them, I'll just follow up in a couple of days and I'll say, hey, Amy, how's it going? Have you thought any more about that, about that opportunity that I was talking to you about? Do you know anybody? And I'm still asking for the referral. I'm not necessarily putting it on them. And you're going to get way more responses by asking for the referral because people are still considering themselves. Um, and then I want to tell you, so I want to tell you, I want to give you an example of something that happened on our team. And I'm gonna, and this is why I say that the difference between where you are now and the goal and, and where your goal where your goal is at um, is seriously the difference between you consistently messaging every day, whether you feel like a kid or not, reaching out to new people, and your consistency in follow-up. Because I'll tell you what happened. Um, I had been talking to a girl that I had randomly added on Facebook for a year. I talked to her multiple times. When I talked to her, I talked about the business. Every month I check in with a new promotion. Hey, do you want to try the products? Do you want to do the business? Multiple times she said she was going to sign up and she didn't. And that's fine. But I went back in there and I kept following up with her, kept following up with her, kept following up with her. I never stopped. And you know what? My follow-up wasn't always, hey, are you ready to join? Here's a promo. It was like, hey, how are you doing this weekend? Hey, I noticed you did this. How did that go? Was that fun? And I just, I was a person, you guys, like I was a real person. And sometimes we forget to do that when we mix business in. So I followed up with her, followed up with her, followed up with her, followed up with her. Finally, she joined and I announced her on our team page and I got a message from another leader on my team. And she said, how the heck did you get her to sign? And I said, you know her? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, I had no idea that you knew her because we didn't have mutual friends for some weird reason. It didn't show us as mutual friends on Facebook. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you knew her. And she's like, yeah, I've been friends with her for like 10 years. We work two jobs together. We have babies, like blah, 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 maybe not babies, but like we have friends that have babies. Like we, we've known each other for years. And I said, well, how many times did you follow up with her? And she said, five. And I said, do you want to know how many times I followed up with her? And I went back. And I'd been talking to her for a year and I followed up with her 
And some of these messages, by the way, she did not answer. I followed up with her 33 times and she joined with me because I was consistent. And to my other leader, who is a distributor on the team, she said, you taught me a very valuable lesson that you can build relationships stronger than friendships on social media by being a real person and by following up and by caring about people. So those were the three things that she's like, I didn't think about that. And I didn't realize she's just like, I just gave up on her because she wasn't going to do it. And I said, yeah, but I don't give up on people. I will send messages on social media and through messenger. I will send a product or um, a, like a product message. I'm going to I'm going to give you guys a couple examples. How about that? How about we do that? I'm going to give you guys a couple examples. Let's see where we are here. I'm going to find somebody on my Facebook page that I've sent multiple messages to. Uh, let's see who is active right now. Okay, anyways, I'm going to put it, actually, I'll just put it in the chat here. PLC. Oh, shoot, it's not. Hmm, how am I going to do that? Okay. I'm just going to tell you. Okay, so I'll send a product message. I'll send like, hey, uh, do you know anybody that wants to try our keto coffee, um, grow their hair out or lose some weight in the next 90 days? They don't answer me, right? How many times has that happened to you guys? All the time, right? The next message. Hey, I know life gets really busy. I just wanted to send you a quick follow-up. I've got one spot left for a discount for a 90-day challenge. Would you like it or do you know anybody that would like it? They don't follow up again, like they don't answer again. I'll send them another message. Hey, this business may or may not be for you, but you might know somebody that is perfect for this. Do you know anybody that is self-motivated, disciplined, excited? Maybe they're looking for another stream of income. They're a really positive person. If you do, would you refer them to me? Question mark. So I will follow up on social media three times. If they do not respond, if they do not respond to any of those messages, or I've sent them a happy birthday and they haven't responded, so maybe four messages, I will delete them from Facebook. They have not responded at all. If excuse me, even one of those messages, they have responded, they are now on my lifetime follow-up list until they die. So they just have to respond once with, I'm interested, or can I have more information? That's it. They are on my follow-up list forever and ever and ever until they block me or they delete me or whatever. Because people's lives change in increments of three to six months. Their, their financial situation changes, their relationship, uh, their health goals, all that kind of stuff changes every three to six months. So if you are not following up with people that need this, then you're doing a disservice to your business. Um, so I am constantly checking in with people that I've had on my hundreds list for two years um, when there are big promotions like this. I'm constantly checking in with people when there are product promotions and you guys know how to do that in your messenger. When you put in messages, um, say we have a keto coffee promo, you just put in keto coffee at the top of your search. I'm going to show you right now, actually. So at the top of your search bar here, you would put in keto. Oh God, that's annoying. I don't even know how to fix that. Um, but at the top of your search bar on your messages, you would put in keto coffee and then there's a little thing that comes up and it says search messages and it will bring up everybody that you've talked to about keto coffee. The other thing that I want you guys to do is follow up with all of your current LCs right now. I want you to either send out a message. If you haven't gotten your, your current LCs in an in a email message, it's really important to do that so you can BCC any big promotions that come out. Um, but I want you to follow up with all of your loyal customers right now and say, hey, you've been using the product for a little while. Would you ever consider joining this business or would you ever consider making some extra money promoting these products? Because right now you get over $500 worth of products for free when you start your business. So if you are not doing that with all of your current loyal customers right now, that's something that you need to do. Um, so that's kind of pretty much what I wanted to go over. Um, don't, here's number one, don't. Don't follow up like this. Hey, just checking in. Just wanted to see how you're doing. Do not do that. Do not ever do that. Because when you do that, hey, just checking in. Hey, just wanted to know if you're ready to buy products. Hey, are you ready to join my team? Are you ready? I need something from you. Hey, don't do that. Instead, be very busy and a quick, simple follow-up. Hey, I need to apologize. I've been so busy. I've been meaning to follow up. How are you? Okay, 
There's a huge difference between those two. Um, I'm just going to go through here really quickly and see the questions that are in here. And if you guys have any other questions, please add them. I see there's a bunch of questions. So just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stephanie Anderson, you did say no to me two or three times, maybe more than that, but I got you. <laughs> I also, I got a bunch of people on here that I, that said no to me multiple times. <laughs> but that's my point, is that I'm offering you a million dollar opportunity. Whether you recognize that or not, there are self-made millionaires with this company. You know that it's possible. There are people that are making $100,000 a month with this company. So you're offering them that. If they say no, who cares? And following up with people until they die is not a bad thing. You know, they just, it just might not be the right time in their life. There might be other things going on, but hey, a year from now when, hey, I was on maturity leave and I was going squirrely or a year from now when they're off work on disability and they're not sure if they can go back to work or a year from now when something happens in their family and they realize uh, how powerful it is to have their freedom so that you can drop everything and be at home with your family. As soon as they realize that, there will be another opportunity for you to present this business opportunity or the products in a way that they will listen. So that's why it's so important to keep following up. See, Amanda Penner stalked you. This is how we do it. We lovingly stalk. Lovingly stalk. Uh, let me just see if there's any other questions. So I answered your question about the hundreds list, I think. What about when you reach 5,000 5, friends? That is such an amazing question. It is a huge pain in the butt, but I'm going to show you what I do. So when you, your goal right now should be to get to 5,000 friends. If you're not at 5,000 friends already, get there. Because if you, I'm going to tell you why. I just, I, I'm not going to just say things and then not tell you why. So the reason you want to get to 5,000 friends is the exposure that there are a lot of people that get hung up on not adding friends, but really there are 500 million users on Facebook every single day. There are so many people out there that need these products and need this business opportunity. Do you know that most people that are struggling are $500 away a month from going bankrupt? And most people, if something happens in their life, are two weeks away from losing their house because they don't have their mortgage in, in, in savings. You guys, this is an incredibly powerful opportunity and you need to start presenting it that way if you haven't already because this will change everything. And the reason it's, it's, this industry is gaining so much momentum is because people are realizing that. So when you're 5,000 friends, like I said, if somebody doesn't answer me three times, even if they look at the message or not looking at the message, I get rid of them. Absolutely. I continue to follow up with people. So say I've, uh, I put them on my follow-up list. I put them on my hundreds list. Okay. And I followed up with them a bunch of times and they're no longer reading my messages. Like I've still followed up with them four times and they're not reading my messages, even though they've said at one point in time, they're interested. I will remove them from Facebook, but I, but it stay, they stay on messenger. So I still have my little pinky finger hook into them so that when business um, promotions come up like this or product promotions come up that they were interested in, I'm going to still send them a message. Or if they're not answering my message and they are on my um, rock star list of like my dream team, I'm going to post on their Facebook page and be like, you got to contact me. I, I have to tell you something. And, and, and that's how I get people to contact. So what I do when I'm at 5,000 friends, I print out my friends list there. You can find out how to do that on your team page. It's really easy. You print out your friends list and I go through, I make this as part of my IPAs, my income producing activity in a day. And I go through and I highlight, I highlight blue, anybody that I'm deleting because every single person on this list, on my list of 5,000 friends is getting a message, whether it is a new message, a follow-up message, a third follow-up message, uh, they're a distributor, a loyal customer, maybe I'm going to check in with them as a loyal customer, but I'm going to go through this. And what I'm going to do is anybody that I'm deleting, I'm, I'm bluing out. See you later. Peace. Anybody that is in orange are people that have had messages. We've had their potentials. We've messaged back and forth. Um, and I send them another follow-up message. Anybody that is a yellow, 
this is my dream team. My yellows are my dream team. So guess what I'm doing tonight when I get off the Zoom? I am contacting all of my yellows and saying, guys, we got $500 worth of product here. I know that you don't know what you've got your hands on yet, but I'm going to tell you right now and I'm going to send in a voice message. So my yellows, I make that really easy so that whenever we have big promotions, I can go touch base with them and offer them something great. Um, greens are other distributors or distributors on my team or other leaders in the company and pinks are uh, loyal customers so that's how I organize and I just go through and that's how it takes a long time it's not the funnest process um, I also started adding friends on Inst or adding followers on Instagram so that I could keep up with my 50 a day messaging new people on top of that um, so that's kind of how I get organized After you've added, add them as friends, do you lovingly stalk them and send them a message? No. Uh, two things about that. I do not send people messages uh, that say, hey, do I know you? My Facebook profile is public. You can go on there and check. And if you don't want to add me, then don't add me back. But I'm not going to sit there and have a discussion with you about you knowing me or not because I don't have time for that. <laughs> That's my God honest red truth. Like, sorry, I just had to give it to you straight there. But I just, I used to go and I used to say, yeah, we both have kids. Maybe we know this. I don't care. Like, I really, it's just such a waste of time for me. If you want to add me or not, it's up to you. You can see who I am. If you think I'm positive, I look like I'm fun to follow, then follow me. But I don't send them a message. I actually kind of creeps me out when people send me a message. You're like, hey, thanks for the friend, dad. I'm like, how come you have so much time on your hands to thank me for adding you as a friend? Like that. So I don't, I, I personally don't. Some people do. That's the thing. We all train people differently and we all do things a little bit differently in our business. So if you can pick up a few little habits or tips from each leader, you're going to be golden. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, and there's a way to interact. So Jenna just said she adds them to her interact list. When you go to settings, you can go into um, uh, activity log uh, on your phone or on your computer and you can filter it to friends and you can see all of the people that you've most recently added. And then you can go through and, um, and just interact with all of your newest friends. And I don't send them a message, but I will go to their Facebook page and I will post a comment or like one of their posts or uh, say, oh, I love this profile picture of you. It's so great, you know, whatever it is, but I will interact with them that way. Okay, uh, Chandler asked me privately, you guys can't see this message. Oh, maybe she did. Yeah, sorry, Chandler, I bet you didn't mean to send it privately and then send it to everybody. But she said, when you send a message like that, how do you respond when they're responding with one word answers? Okay, so I hate that. When people are like, yep, more info, okay, no. So you need to start asking more questions. Here's my rule when I am talking to people. I respond with two sentences and a question. That is it. I do not word vomit all over them. I do not tell them everything about our company and the products. I give them two sentences and a question. And that question is not a yes or no answer. So if they're like saying, I'd like more info, I'd be like, okay, what would you like more info on? They have to answer with a sentence. Or uh, they say, yeah, I'm interested. Oh, why are you in, um, what's changed recently in your life that you are interested in working from home? right? When people say that they're interested. Um, I really ask them a lot of questions. I totally focus on them and say, tell me about your kids. Tell me about how much money you would need, um, you know, if you wanted to put your kid in hockey. Tell me how much money you need to make a month to take your kids to Disneyland this year, if that's your why, if that's why you want to join this business. And I really get them talking because my, my goal is to get them to lead the conversation. So ask questions that are not yes or no answers. And you know what, when that happens to you, ask your sponsor, reach out, give a screenshot. If you got, you guys, a lot of you guys are in our July mentorship group, post it in there and we will help you answer. And we will absolutely help you get through those people that barely want to say anything. They may or may not be lazy. They may or may not be for this business, but we want to get to the bottom of it and figure out if they're going to be a good match for our team. Uh, yes, Anna, this will be posted on our group and on the uh, July mentorship group as well. Okay, let me just see if there's any other questions. So we message the views on Instagram. Kathy, 
I do 95% of my business on Facebook and 3% of my business on social or on Instagram and 2% in person. So I would say, um, you know, do you message the views on Instagram? You message the views of your story on Instagram. Um, I personally just go through my followers list and message people, but I could be doing that wrong. So I don't want to give you bad advice. I would message anybody that likes your posts anybody that likes your pictures, anybody that comments and anybody that likes or comments on uh, your story. And it's really good if you can add a poll in your story and say yes or no, or want more info, like, Hey, would you post on social media um, for $500 a month? Or, you know what I mean? And, and say, uh, yes, absolutely. For the poll, or I'd like more info for the poll. And then people can click and decide, and then you can message them. Yeah, Jenna, that's awesome. Thank you so much for writing that out. Pencil crayon, I love Santana that you're using pencil crayons. It's totally fine. I was using a crayon earlier today. Can I, oh, Jenna, you know what I'll do, Jenna, is that I'll post, um, I'll post a bunch of them uh, in our team page when I post this video. I don't even know what I said, but I'll go back and look. Uh, uh, yes. And host the posts are so great for your hundreds. Of, absolutely. Mariska, anybody that likes those posts or anybody that comments on those posts, go on your hundreds list. So if you can get, if your goal is to get five host of posts out each and every day, uh, you know, you're going to be so much better off. One of the things here, I'm going to post what I do when, when, especially when people say no, they're not interested. I'll try this first. Let me see if I can just transfer. Um, hold a post. Okay, I just said that to Ryan, so I should be able to bring this up here. So one of the messages that I use to follow up with people that say no um, for the for products, like for loyal customer, is this. You can copy and paste it as well. And you can always go back and watch this video. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna post it after we're done, but you guys can always go back and watch this video and, and pause it and take notes. That's what I do for a lot of, a lot of my training. Yes, thank you, um, Tiffany, for posting that. I really appreciate that with um, the highlighting. So um, I don't know who this is, the RCT. Uh, they messaged me and they said, I had a lady add me and then say, why are you contacting me? I don't know you. I just leave it. Like, okay. Like, I don't really care. There are, fi again, 500 million people on Facebook. Why do you care about that one person that says they're contacting me? I don't know. You're contacting me. I don't know you. You sound like you have a bad attitude and I don't really want to know you either. Is my personal opinion. <laughs> I really honestly... What it comes down to is your perspective, okay? What it comes down to is your perspective and that you see this as a job, but you're also a human being doing a job. So put other people first, be human, be compassionate, check people's Facebook page before you send them a quick follow-up. I'll tell you why, because once I went to follow up with this guy who was like so fun to watch on Facebook and he had passed away a couple of days earlier in a diving accident. So could you imagine if I had sent a follow-up there has been people that have passed. I've had at least that happen to me three times that I've gone to follow up with somebody and either they or somebody in their family has passed away. I actually had a current um, potential distributor that I had been spending quite a bit of time with and realized that um, they were in rehab for a brain injury from a, from a, a automobile accident. I didn't know that. My number one rule also is to get people on the phone or on a voice message before I enroll them as a distributor because unfortunately when we are working on social media, sometimes we don't know the sidelines, we don't know what's happening in the background. And it turns out that this girl had a, a very extensive injury even though she could play it off like she didn't on social media and she ended up passing away. So it's very important that you are checking profiles before you do that because it is absolutely awful if you slip up and, and accidentally do something like that and the family member sees or whatever, right? So just make sure, um, but with your follow-ups, with your messaging, <sighs> I know it takes discipline. I know it's frustrating. I know that it's probably what 90% of you guys put it off. I'm sure like if I, I'm going to put this on the big screen. 
How many people, raise your hand, put off messaging during the day? Right? How many people, keep your hand raised, how many people put off following up with somebody if they didn't answer their last follow-up? Right? So there's so many of us that do that. And again, the big players in your business are going to say no. They're going to take some convincing. It's going to take some time. They want to see that you're disciplined and dedicated. You don't have to be the most successful business person, but you have to show your positivity. You have to show your commitment and you have to show success stories within the company to show them what's possible. And you will rise up to that level. You will rise up to that level and you will start bringing in people that want this business and all that kind of stuff, but it's your perspective that you're giving them. And think about that every time you post, every time you follow up. Yes, it's our job to do those things, but I will literally follow up with people. I will, even if they have messaged me just once and said, I want more, more information, I'll follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. They didn't answer four of my messages, but they've seen them. As long as they've seen them, I will follow up again. I will follow up again until you block me. If I'm not seeing them, if the little dot is blue and I'm, and I'm not, and they're not seeing my messages, then I will delete them, but I will continue to follow up with them and love stalk them through Facebook Messenger. Just how I roll. So I hope that that helps. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'm just gonna, you can unmute yourself or you can, um, you can post it in the chat. Hey. Yeah, hey. Hi. Um. Okay, I know you do Ryan's Facebook and I started doing Curtis's Facebook. Do you just do it as you or do you do as him? Um, well, like I take him in my posts, but Ryan, with some reminding, does it himself. <laughs> yeah, Curtis won't do that right now. <laughs> He's like, this is all you. You can use my Facebook, but this is all you. I'm like, okay. okay. And, that's, and, that, and so are you, are you talking about posting or are you talking about messaging and following up? Well, I've been trying to post as much as I can on his Facebook too, but I mean, it's hard to keep up on our own Facebooks. Never mind. You know what, love? I would honestly, I would just keep it with your Facebook and I would tag him so that okay. it shows up on his page. Okay. But it's you. And then if there's something that you do awesome, like earn a thousand dollar bonus or 10, whatever it is, or like you get a shopping spree or somebody on your team gets a shopping spree or whatever it is then I will like sometimes, not like usually the props, like I'll try and get him to use his own words because that's embarrassing. But like, <laughs> I will actually write him a post and send him a picture and say, can you post this? Okay. <laughs> so, you know, whether you log in and do it for him or whatever, but it, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to be consistent on his page. Just go add all of his friends. Like <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Yeah. So, and you know, and, if he, and he, he can support you in the background for sure. And, and, and he'll become more and more, as you make more money, they seem to be, they tend to be more supportive as time goes on. <laughs> and yeah. He just started the keto. So he's, and he's like, I didn't realize how much this actually helped me with my energy. So now he's like being a little more supportive because he actually believes that our products work. <laughs> You just got to get him on it. I remember the first time Ryan tried to wrap and it was six months into this business and he's, he put it on for, I think we, we might've worn it overnight, but I can't really remember. He took it off and he's like, look at my abs, Christina. These are amazing. These work. This is incredible. And I'm like, oh God, it only took you six months to try one. And of course they work. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. I was just wondering, I'm like, cause I know she, you did it. Right. So I'm like, maybe, I don't know, maybe she does it. Okay, that helps so much because I've been trying to do both and I'm not even very like trying to get my confidence up and stuff and I'm like, eh, I don't That's know if okay. I can on his Facebook or whatever, but I want a promotion. So let's just get it going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I would either post through like once or twice a week, post through his Facebook by logging in or tag him. I tag Ryan in a lot of stuff. Um, okay. Some of you guys that are asking about the mentorship group. So, um, myself and Laura, uh, yeah, Lauren has one and Jennifer has one. Um, I don't, you might be on here from Janny. Um, we've kind of all got together and we have our own 20 person mentorship group that we're doing in July. So each of us have 20 people that we are mentoring. Uh, we handpicked those people or they earned spots in our mentorship group and it's going really, really, really well. So I would imagine that we are going to continue with them. 
okay? So keep an eye out because uh, I know that Jennifer and I are doing ours together and we do live videos in ours. We do, um, you know, uh, very specific training and you guys get exclusive training, exclusive uh, contests from us. You guys get, um, you know, just a little bit more attention so that we can help you get unstuck. Because uh, a lot of people get stuck and then they don't know what to do. But I'm encouraging you guys to be problem solvers. I'm encouraging you guys to follow up until people die. Because that's what we do. I'm encouraging you to have courage when you follow up and say, what's stopping you if, you say, if they say no? Or I'm curious, why not? Why not you? Because a lot of the time you'll be able to get to the bottom of it and, um, and be able to overcome their objection. Uh, Santana, I know your boyfriend doesn't have to be a DT for you to tag him. You can totally tag him. And let's see if there's any other questions about following up. Nope. Um, I will, uh, Kiani, um, I will give you some more examples of host to post. Um, but all of my examples are in the mentorship group, to be honest. Uh, and right now, let me see actually, because I might be able to give you a host to post for, um, I might be able to give you guys a host to post. Hold on just a second. I'm going to find it. Uh, I'm going to stop recording. Hold on just a sec. Um, 